for another investor day and reflect on all that's happened since we last gathered in April of 2019. Our world and our entire industry has been thrown numerous challenges that none of us could have foreseen. As we grapple with one of the most difficult periods in modern history, it's clear that we need great storytelling and the joy of entertainment more than ever before. Last year, we were looking ahead to the launch of Disney Plus with our very first live action series, The Mandalorian. Star Wars was moving into new territory in the streaming space on a brand new platform, creating an original series through groundbreaking technology and an entirely new approach to production and filmmaking. It was a big bet and a leap of faith. The Mandalorian debuted on Disney Plus in November of 2019 and the response has been overwhelming. We could not be more humbled by the reception to the show, the honor of seven Emmy Awards, and the enormous support our fans have shown us. With The Mandalorian on Disney+, Plus, we have ushered in an entirely new era for Star Wars, and there's more to come. We premiered season two on October 30th, and Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni continuing the journey of The Mandalorian and the Child. Audiences around the world have joined the adventure on Disney+, Plus, traveling to new planets with incredible action, larger-than-life creatures delivering a complete cinematic experience. Let's take a look at season two. You're very special, kid. I agreed to take you back to your own kind, so that's what I need to do and they're gonna take real good care of you. I've been quested with returning this child to the Jedi. What do you know of the Jedi? Nothing. I can lead you to one of their kind. But first, we need your help on our mission. Mission? my credit around here and you come here little one have you been taking good care of him has mando been taking good care of you huh yeah yeah he said what is that thing i keep it around for luck you're gonna need it where you're headed your help the jedi order fell a long time ago so did the empire yet it still hunts him long live the empire long live the empire been tracking you, Mandalorian. I'm here for the armor. If you want my armor, you'll have to peel it off my dead body. I don't want your armor. I want my armor. Today, I'm excited to share with you that John and Dave 
are concurrently developing two new spin-off series exclusively for Disney Plus. One, The Rangers of the New Republic, and the other featuring fan favorite, Ahsoka Tano. Set within the timeline of The Mandalorian, these interconnected shows, along with future stories, will excite new audiences, embrace our most passionate fans, and will culminate in a climactic story event. The next chapter will debut on Disney Plus Christmas of 2021. I'm fortunate to be surrounded by incredible talent, both in front of and behind the camera, with a company full of people who care passionately about high quality storytelling. A few times in my career, I've had a chance to be part of game-changing technology, moments when a new way of filmmaking changed the way stories could be told forever. Working with John Favreau to create the world of The Mandalorian with our own StageCraft technology has been one of those moments. StageCraft is a new virtual production tool that utilizes the latest innovations in real-time graphics and massive LED screens that allows us to bring entire locations into a soundstage and photograph them live. Telling stories in ways we could only dream of a few years ago. This new collaboration process brings the artists and the crews into a creative partnership with efficiencies that now marry pre-production, production and post, all in sync to preserve the cinematic culture around a singular artistic vision. By eliminating unnecessary travel, a more controlled environment and efficiencies with set design and special effects that allow for an in-camera visual experience, actors are immersed in those environments rather than having to imagine what they're seeing or reacting to. And ironically, the efficiency of stagecraft has allowed us to continue to work during this pandemic. On The Mandalorian Season 2, we expanded StageCraft's capabilities further and built an even larger volume. Additionally, we are building three more volumes right now in Los Angeles, London, and Australia, advancing the Disney-owned technology and building the studio of the future. We have a vast and expansive timeline in the Star Wars mythology, spanning over 25,000 years of history in the galaxy with each era being a rich resource for storytelling. Now with Disney Plus, we can explore limitless story possibilities like never before and fulfill the promise that there is truly a Star Wars story for everyone. One of the most exciting and ambitious new series we have coming to Disney Plus in 2022 is Andor, a tense, nail-biting spy thriller in the Star Wars universe created by Tony Gilroy. Tony's incredible success with the Born Identity films distinguishes him as one of today's best creators of the modern spy genre. We couldn't be more thrilled to have him at the helm of this new series for Star Wars. Diego Luna will be back in the role of rebel spy Cassian Andor from Rogue One, and he will be joined by a fantastic new cast that includes Stellan Skarsgård, Adria Arjona, Fiona Shaw, Denise Goff, Kyle Soller, and Genevieve O'Reilly as Mon Mothma. We just began production in London two weeks ago. Here's a special look at Andor. Everything I did, I did for the rebellion. Rogue One in many ways. It's a film that connected new audiences with the, the oldest fans. It was a bittersweet feeling, you know, in the premiere, knowing that it was just one film. But then magic happens, right? As you can see, we're getting ready. We're building stages, we're rehearsing, we're training, we're trying costumes, we're doing everything to make sure we do the best show. I'm really excited having the chance to explore Cassian. It's really fun to go on a set that is emulating something you like so much. The enormity of this is like doing a big feature film. 
It's very cinematic. For me, that's where the excitement is. 12 episodes, 12 scripts, over 200 named cast members, over 6,000 crowd people, a lot of creatures that come in from the creature department. We treat this exactly like we would have, would have filmed. There is no difference in our approach. Every creature and droid that we've been building has the same care, and level of attention to detail as the previous films. It's huge, it's thrilling, but also it's wonderfully challenging. There's tons of possibilities to explore. It is the building of a revolution. Last August at the D23 Expo in Anaheim, we announced the return of Ewan McGregor in the iconic role of Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi for a special event series on Disney+. Obi-Wan Kenobi begins 10 years after the dramatic events of Revenge of the Sith, where he faced his greatest defeat, the downfall and corruption of his best friend and Jedi apprentice, Anakin Skywalker turned evil Sith Lord, Darth Vader. Our fans will be thrilled that Hayden Christensen will be returning in the role of Darth Vader. This will be the rematch of the century. The series is directed by Deborah Chow, coming off the great work she did with us as a director on season one of The Mandalorian. Production will begin in March of next year. Here's an early look at Obi-Wan Kenobi. During our first year on Disney+, Plus, our animated series Star Wars The Clone Wars saw tremendous success with its epic seventh and final season. Building on the legacy of The Clone Wars, our new animated series The Bad Batch follows the specialist commandos of Clone Force 99 as they embark on new missions in a rapidly changing galaxy. This is The Bad Batch. They call themselves the Bad Batch. Into the, the first, first galactic, galactic empire. empire. 
That was quite an impressive display. <laughs> Star Wars Visions will be a series of animated short films celebrating the Star Wars galaxy through the lens of the world's best anime creators. This anthology collection will bring 10 fantastic visions from several of the leading Japanese anime studios, offering a fresh and diverse cultural perspective to Star Wars. Lando Calrissian is the galaxy's smoothest, most notorious scoundrel and he'll return in a brand new event series for Disney+. Plus. Justin Simeon, creator of the critically acclaimed and hugely popular Dear White People, is developing the story with us now. A massive Star Wars fan himself, Justin has put together a reel to give you a sense of the style, tone, and irresistible swagger of our upcoming series, Lando. Take a look. Leslie Headland, Emmy-nominated creator of the mind-bending series Russian Doll, is a boldly innovative filmmaker bringing her new Star Wars series to Disney+. The Acolyte is a mystery thriller that will take us into a galaxy of shadowy secrets and emerging dark side powers in the final days of the High Republic era. As we continue to develop new stories, the intersection of animation and visual effects offers new opportunities for us to explore. Lucasfilm Animation will be teaming up with our unparalleled visual effects team, ILM, to develop a special Star Wars adventure for Disney+, Plus, a droid story. This epic journey will introduce us to a new hero guided by our most iconic duo, R2-D2 and C-3PO, on a special mission known only to them, what could possibly go wrong? Outside of the Star Wars galaxy, we're expanding Lucasfilm's presence on Disney Plus with another beloved mythological world created by George Lucas, Willow. This series will be set decades after Ron Howard's 1988 movie, continuing the spirit of adventure, heroics, and humor of the original film. We're delighted that Warwick Davis will be returning in the role of the great sorcerer Willow Ufgood. We have a wonderful creative team at the helm. John Chu, director of the groundbreaking film Crazy Rich Asians, will be directing the pilot. Willow begins shooting next March in Wales and will debut on Disney Plus in 2022. Here's the team to share more.
We also have some news to share on our theatrical slate. We're in pre-production on the next and final installment of Indiana Jones. At the helm, we have James Mangold, director of the Academy Award-winning film Ford vs. Ferrari. And of course, Indy himself, Harrison Ford, will be back to conclude this iconic character's journey. Indy will begin shooting late spring of 2021 and will be released in July of 2022. Our slate is expanding further with a story that will introduce a new hero and explore an original world that feels perfectly paired with Lucasfilm storytelling. We're proud to bring to the screen author Tomi Adeyemi's New York Times best-selling novel, Children of Blood and Bone. This story will center around a young African girl's heart racing quest to restore magic to her forsaken people, the Magi. Tomi was recently included in the Time 100's list of most influential people of 2020. We're proud to be partnering with the 20th Century Studios on this coming of age adventure. Our Star Wars theatrical slate is pushing forward into a new future era. As we announced recently, we're currently developing a brand new Star Wars feature with acclaimed filmmaker Academy Award winner Taika Waititi. Taika's approach to Star Wars will be fresh, unexpected, and unique. His enormous talent and sense of humor will ensure that audiences are in for an unforgettable ride. He's currently hard at work writing this next adventure. And to close today, I couldn't be more excited that our next Star Wars feature film will be directed by Patty Jenkins. Patty, director of the Wonder Woman franchise, will bring her inspired vision to Rogue Squadron. This story will introduce a new generation of starfighter pilots as they earn their wings and risk their lives in a boundary-pushing high-speed thrill ride. The legend of Rogue Squadron has been long beloved by Star Wars fans and will move us into a future era of the galaxy. Rogue Squadron will be released in theaters Christmas of 2023. As you can see, this is a new era for Star Wars and Lucasfilm, with expanded opportunities for continued innovation, high quality storytelling and cinematic experiences like never before.